Uh, so Matt's joining us this afternoon over on YouTube. Hi, Matt. Um, and he had a, a, a question here. It's a couple of messages long. Uh, if you move a workload to Intune only, does that affect servers? What about devices that have a bad config client and are not communicating with Intune because they are still on the old policy? Or do I have to delete the device from SCCM? So the first question, if we move a workload to Intune only, does that affect servers? Um, no, because Intune cannot manage servers, if that's if I understand that question correctly. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. You cannot enroll servers into Intune. That they will not become a managed object. Yep. You can see them there, but it's it's not a managed entity by Intune. Exactly. So as far as the devices that have a bad client, a uh, config manager client, and are not communicating with Intune because they're still in the old policy, um, and there's a, a follow-up here uh, with a Windows update registry key, um, my thought is that, Matt, you're, you're probably troubleshooting the Windows update uh, workload moving over. Um, that's something that Johan and I have seen many times where you are moving over the Windows Update workload and you do have issues with uh, the registry keys not applying properly. Uh, there are a couple of blog posts that we typically share uh, on this. The first one, um, if you'd like to move over to my screen, Johan, thank you. Um, Let's see, for business. <clears throat> so the first one uh, is kind of a just quick, simple uh, blog post that I wrote uh, a couple of years back now uh, that will <clears throat> basically has a CM pivot query, um, which was recently fixed, by the way. Somebody commented a week or so ago that um, this query was not working properly. So if you've picked up this query in the past, this is fixed. Anyways, the CM pivot query will check for the Windows Update registry keys that have the incorrect value and return the devices with those keys um, that do have the incorrect value. And then a quick PowerShell script here to set that value back to zero. Now, sometimes this will just flat out fix it uh, and you won't have to do anything else after the fact. Other times, um, you may have to do some more investigation as to what the root cause is that could set these back to the incorrect value. So if you have a group policy, for example, that's disabling Windows updates or changing any of these registry keys here, uh, you may need to go find that group policy and change it. Um, the other post that we often share is this one right here. Um, that Ben Whitmore put together uh, at the beginning of this year. Um, so it's called SCCM Co-Management Dual Scan and Scan Source Demystified. This is a very serious deep dive into this exact scenario. And for a lot of us, I think required reading because if you are going to move this workload from Config Manager to Intune, in, in our experience, it's almost inevitable that you will have some devices that have issues. Um, so these two things I would take a look at to see if they can fix your issues, Matt. Uh, and I will make sure that these get posted again today. I'd like to add to that, that I, even though I haven't seen a bad config manager client causing any into management issues, I, I can clearly see that co-management that that state can get upset if, if a config manager client is just broken or misbehaving I just, I just haven't seen it but it doesn't sound too far-fetched um, to, to, to be happening absolutely great addition to that thank you <clears throat> 